Hey everyone, it's me, Vade, and um, today we're going to be looking at the um, the new gadget features, the new uh, desktop gadget features in Windows 7. Now, there really isn't much uh, different uh, gadgets-wise uh, for Windows 7. For those of you that don't know what gadgets are, they're pretty much like widgets, only they were introduced in, Wind in, uh, in Vista. There really aren't too many of them, because, I mean, nowadays no one really uses these kinds of things, they just go online. But, you know, it's really handy. I'll just show you a couple of the ones I use. And these, or most of these, come with Windows 7 as well as Vista. I have this little slideshow thing, you know, just these nice scenic vistas there. Um, it's just nice to look at those every once in a while. There's, of course, the stock, mar uh, uh, this little stock uh, uh, gadget right here. That just shows you, you know, how far up or down the stock market's going. It's a great way to uh, to find yourself depressed in the middle of the day. You know, just just look look here, and uh, and you'll feel it worse than usual. So, there you go. Uh, there's also my my um, my weather. Gadget. Uh, I don't actually live in New York. Um, for m for those of you that don't know, but uh, you know, I I just changed it for the sense of for the sake of confidentiality there. But um, you know, it shows you uh, the next three days and today. You know, cool pictures and stuff. That's nice. Obviously, a clock with a second hand, and uh, just you know what day it is and all that kind of stuff. As well as the uh, RSS feed. Uh, this 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 one right here shows you how much CPU you, you're using. I'm using uh, about you know 11 to 20 percent because I have Camtasia running to uh, record the screen, and of course ask Windows Live. Basically, I can ask Windows Live something, and uh, it'll it'll look it up. Uh, and if it can't find it, then it'll go to Wikipedia and look it up, which is pretty cool. It's pretty useful every once in a while. And uh, also, just a quick disclaimer that all these gadgets here, um, they may seem a little distorted or you know a little cramped up, but just because I'm recording this in 720p, which is actually really small, really low resolution for most. Uh, computer monitors. Al almost no computer monitors nowadays actually actually uh, run at 720p. They usually run way higher than that. So um, just a little disclaimer there. They'll look a lot better and a lot less cramped uh, on a regular screen, on, on a regular monitor. Um, let's get into the actual settings here. If I right click and if I go down to uh, gadgets right here, uh, I think this is pretty new as far as I know, or or it might have been Vista. But if you just click gadgets here, the usual uh, gadgets. Um, Thing comes up. I've uh, I've downloaded a couple ones, you know, just to try them out. Uh, and and generally it's pretty much the same. If I double click here, or let's say I close this here, I can just double click to bring it back. Oh, there we go. Now I have two. I can just double click to bring it back there. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Um, but you know, same as usual. Um, the only other real difference is now, uh, since there is no sidebar anymore, for those of you that, that didn't realize, there, there, there is no sidebar in Windows 7, they're just sort of free-floating, um, there's the usual, um, uh, you know, settings kind of uh, panel under each one, and there's also one that makes um, gadgets bigger or smaller, uh, and that depends on whether or not the gadget's really meant for that. So that's that. Also, um, since there's no sidebar, um, the gadgets will snap to the edges of the screen here, if you see. It'll just snap to that. Um, you know, that's pretty nice if you want to organize, you know, around the screen. That that works out pretty well. Also, um, if I have multiple windows open here, for those of you that don't know, uh, there is a feature called Windows Peak. Uh, and even previously in, in Vista, if you pressed Windows Space, it would show you um, all your gadgets. The gadget would come to the front. Now, nowadays what happens here is that if you press that, it basically peaks to your desktop uh, and, and all the way to your gadgets. And that's pretty cool. You know, um, so yeah, guys, that was uh, that's all that's really new uh, in, gadgets wise in Windows 7. How uh, in the beta rather in beta 7000. So uh, stay tuned for more. Um, stay tuned for more videos on different features of Windows 7. I'm gonna be going through you know the super bar, the new f uh, file foldering system, that kind of stuff. And, and if you have a request for uh, a specific new feature and and for me to go through it, just drop me you know a comment or a video uh, request or whatever, and um, I'll make those kind of videos first. So, thanks.